they called everybody together out by the ring for a meeting and I knew something was off because I had seen uh, uh, Vicky Guerrero coming back from the meeting crying so apparently a couple of people knew beforehand. He just, uh, you know, he just snapped. Uh, I don't know what made him snap. You can't really, you can't really justify it or you can't really put any reason behind it but you want to say that he, he's not that evil man. You know what I mean? He's not that evil person, because that's not the person we seem. Eddie died. He was beat up and tired. Um, he took some time off. I don't think it was enough time. The day of our TV shoot, well, it was a different locker room then, because then they knew it murder-suicide. I mean, we went from, you know, dedicating our careers to this guy, to the guy who just killed his wife and kid and then killed himself over a three-day span. Hey. It was not steroids. You don't do a steroid rage and kill two people and yourself. That ain't ro that ain't roid rage. Roid rage is running out, maybe hitting a motherfucker with a pipe or something across the head. You always you, you could think, but you'll never know what was going through his head. I don't think he woke up in the morning and said, "Today, I think I'm gonna kill everybody." I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think that that was his intentions. Because you never know if, if if like if I'd have went up there that Wednesday and ate with him. It might have changed everything on Friday. Christmas ball! I got you fucking killing Daniel! Daniel was seven years old! Um, it's, you know, it's a tragedy, and I knew Chris a long time. Um, I knew Nancy too, excuse me. Um, 